It's Friday, July 7th, 2023. I'm David Ellis with the Ellis Report on Capital Media HD 99.3. An inability to get insurance coverage on time has forced one of the regular crop over Juve events to be called off. It's Puff of Color, which was scheduled to take place tomorrow. We understand that their insurers pulled out, and though others were willing to come on board, they didn't give the organizers enough time to pull the event together. Minister in the Ministry of Health, Dr. Sonia Brown, says government is coming up with a plan to tackle mental health in the country. This as Barbados reels from a spate of recent suicides. In St. Lucia, the opposition United Workers' Party is expressing grave concern about the escalating crime situation there. Spokesman Leonard Montout notes that the country is approaching 50 homicides at the halfway point in the year. At this rate, we can easily record a hundred or more St. Lucians losing their lives as a result of violent crime for this year. In the U.S. Virgin Islands, the police commissioner has lashed out at the judiciary after a police detective there was gunned down by a man who was released on bail after being charged with first-degree murder. The commissioner of police called it an ambush, declaring that their judges are too lax and too soft when it comes to bail. U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken has announced new measures to stem the flow of guns to the Caribbean, a call made by Caribbean countries coming out of their crime summit some weeks ago. Just last month, we created a new position at the Department of Justice to deepen collaboration among us on gun prosecutions. Today, I'm pleased to announce that Michael Ben-Ari, a very experienced DOJ prosecutor, will serve as the United States' very first coordinator for Caribbean firearms prosecutions. Mr. Blinken adds, The Bipartisan Safer Communities Act, that for the first time in American history, makes straw purchasing and gun trafficking federal crimes. This legislative tool will help us help you. A just-released study by the U.S. Geological Survey says that at least 45% of America's tap water could be contaminated by at least one form of what's called forever chemicals. These are chemicals that break down very slowly, building up in people, animals, and the environment over time. United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres has called for the deployment of an international rapid action force to deal with Haiti's security situation. Meantime, Jamaica's Prime Minister Andrew Holness has addressed the United Nations on the situation in Haiti as well. There can be no peace among people who are hungry. To provide immediate relief, it is imperative that the humanitarian response plan is properly funded. The weather forecast. A tropical wave is expected to affect the island today. As a result, it will be mostly cloudy with breaks of sunshine, with occasional brief scattered moderate showers and a very slight chance of isolated thunderstorms. I'm David Ellis with the Ellis Report on Capital Media HD 99.3.